All right, guys, here's the full review of the Oki 5016. So it comes in this simple cardboard sleeve. Get that out of the way. And this is the box you'll get it in if you do want to pick one up. So we've got the branding on top. Like I say, I'm calling it Oki. That might be wrong. If anybody does know, just leave it down in the comments. And let us know. Anyway, getting onto the watch. So here it is. Some of you might recognise this if you've watched my other videos before, as it did feature in the, what did I call it? The AliExpress, the good, the bad and the ugly video. Basically, it was just an excuse for me to rant about the Labini I had and the issues that I had with it. If you haven't seen that video and you are interested, I'll leave a link up here. But the basic gist of it is it had some serious issues. I contacted the seller, showed them pictures, pointing out the issues. They denied it, said there was nothing wrong with the watch. So I opened a dispute, AliExpress sided with me, and said, if you return it, you'll get a full refund. I sent it back. With everything that's going on, obviously it's taken a bit longer than it would normally, so I'm still waiting. But hopefully, fingers crossed, in the next few days, it will get there, and then I'll get my refund. If anybody's interested in me doing a follow-up video to that, or just an update video, just let us know down in the comments. Otherwise, I'll probably just do it as a community post. But that's the reason I haven't really worn this watch too much, to be honest. As I bought it from the same store, the Labini store, and it kind of soured me on this one as well. Even though I decided to keep this one and not send it back. So if you are interested in picking one of these up, I will leave links in the description. But don't worry, it will not be to the Labini store. It will be to a couple of other stores that I've found that also sell this. And they seem to be a bit more reputable. As I wouldn't recommend buying from the Labini store at all. I wouldn't be buying from them again. Given the service I was given and the watch that I received, I just wouldn't recommend them to anyone. Anyway, mini rant over, getting back to this watch. So as you can tell, we've got a nice Bauhaus inspired design there. So much so that they've actually decided to put in the bottom, if it focuses, yeah, there we go, in memory of Bauhaus, which I think is quite a nice touch. So with it being Bauhaus style, everything is just printed, nothing applied, but we have actually got a bit of loom on this which for this style of watch is not really that common, to be honest. So we've got a bit of loom at the 12, 3, 6 and the 9, as well as loom on the hands as well. But I'll do a loom shot later on. As for the rest of the watch, we've actually got a fairly simple leather strap, but again, goes with the design. And we've got a signed buckle, which is nice. Butterfly clasp, nothing too fancy. Fairly simple, but does the job. And then flipping it around to the back, another real plus of this watch, and one of the main reasons you might want to pick it up, is the fact that it's got a Miota 9015 high beat movement, which means that you get that lovely sweep in second hand. I do like this movement. I've got it in a few watches now, to be honest. It's one of my favorite ones. I just think it's a really good value high beat movement. So we've got a nice brush mid case and crown, but then we've got a polished bezel and a little polished edge around the bottom as well, as well as polished lugs. And I do like the lugs on this. Nice curved lugs, so conform as well to wrist. Unfortunately, we haven't got a signed crown, but I'll get onto the crown in a minute, as I have other issues with the crown. I don't know if this is gonna come up on camera, but we have actually got an ever so slight curve to that crystal. And I mean really slight, but it's there. It's not completely flat. It's also got a slight protrusion to the crystal as well, but it does conform well to the rest of the case. Blends in nicely. Overall, looks good, I think. So just quickly going back around to the back of the watch, we have actually got as well, it claims it's got sapphire crystal, but we'll be testing that in a bit. And it also says it's got 50 meters water resistance, but we've only got screws on the back of the case. So that is a little bit strange. Also with the crown, it's not screwed down, it's just pull out. So I can't see actually having that kind of water resistance, to be honest. And anyway, with this kind of design, this style of watch, 
you're not going to be going swimming with it, or at least I wouldn't anyway. Another reason I haven't worn this watch too much is the crown. Hopefully this will come up on camera, but it's pretty much completely smooth, which, as you can imagine, for a crown makes it really difficult to turn. Barely anything to grip hold of. A lot of the time I tend to resort to just doing it with my nail, like this, which is workable, but it's not ideal. Sometimes you can grip it, but obviously you've got slightly sweaty hands or something, it's going to be really difficult. So if you're going to pick one of these up, that's something to bear in mind. But other than that, and the lack of AR coating, I think it's a pretty good watch. I'll quickly show you now what the loom's like. So, as you can see, the loom is actually, for this kind of style of watch, not bad. And it actually lasts a decent amount of time as well. So that's definitely a plus. So it's come time to test whether this has actually got sapphire crystal or not then. Using the trusty diamond selector tool. So, as you can see, yep, we have actually got sapphire crystal on this. So, let's go on to the dimensions. We've got a thickness of about 11 mil. It actually claims on the listing to be 9.5, but it's closer to 11. I suspect they may be measuring it from the thinner point, but then still, that's closer to 10. So either way, it isn't 9.5, but still pretty slim. We've got a diameter of 40.5, a lug width 20, and a lug to lug of about 48. So, pretty nice dimensions, but I'll show you now what it looks like on wrist. So, this is what it looks like on my 7 inch wrist. Like I say, it conforms really nicely to the wrist, especially with those curved lugs, and with it being pretty thin as well. And that sign buckle does look nice. Overall, I just think it's a really cohesive design, albeit not original. But if you like the Bauhaus style, I'd definitely recommend this one, apart from, like I say, that crown. Just be aware of that. If you think that's going to be a real issue, then you might want to avoid this one. Or if you feel brave, I guess you could always try and add some grip to it yourself. Maybe sand it down a bit or something. I don't know. I'm not really into modding watches. Not at the moment anyway. I'm a little bit too scared to do that kind of thing in case I wreck it. But maybe in the future. But that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.